hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it is chizu and welcome back again to my channel so today i'm back again with another video happy new year's by the way because this is the first time i'm seeing you guys so you guys are seeing me yeah both ways so happy new year so you're here have been good hope everything has been okay so today i'm back with a new video this year I would say this year, this year I'm gonna be bringing you guys. I know I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's raining outside. I hope there's no like noise. So today I'm making you guys a different video. Okay, that is different from what I'm doing. I know, I know, I know. I've always bought a different something. That's because I struggle with finding the type of content that I want to be creating. Because each time I create those contents, I'm not really satisfied with it. I don't want to continue doing it because this is really not what I want to con want to do. So this time i decided i'm gonna be doing like a book review of things okay first of all let me tell you guys how it all started it all started by just me wanting to become a better person a better human a better me a better version of myself okay to my partner all around okay in general okay so and each time listen first of all i don't like to read i don't like to read for anything in this world okay but then each time um i'm going across like for example i'm checking like, um i'm watching videos i'm listening to podcasts and then and then they're talking about how you should improve it's always come down to you reading okay reading 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 and uh, i struggle with it but i mean i've tried before but then it didn't happen but it's like there's this change in my mind recently okay i don't know what happened but i've just been feeling like okay i really want to do better i just don't want to sit and say i want to do better and not doing better about it so yeah and that is why i said okay i decided i want to read more okay and uh it's funny that when i decided that um hydrator hero josh okay decided to post a video um talking about the boots book to read and so on and so forth i'm like because i was always struggling on the book to start so and then he talked about this atomic habits okay and that's why i'm like okay you know what i'll just buy the book and start with it first of all it's about improving which is what i wanted and then it's like everything was just working in my own favor like what i wanted just came to me <laughs> so i'm like you know i'm gonna buy the book okay so when i bought the book okay it's not like i i i didn't like plan to do it in the beginning of the year like i didn't say oh this year i'm going to start posting i'm going to read and post but uh, when i bought the book i'm like you know what so why not just me like i feel like it's gonna help me read more like if i like read and then come here to like explain to you guys what i read and then you know it will help it's helping me as a person first of all to imp like i'm i'm improving as a person and then it's also helping me um to create content more quality something that adds value <laughs> to people and uh, to anyone in general okay so that's why i decided that okay i'm going to be going with this and um i mean add, adding to the other contents that i want to be creating okay so today i'm going to basically going to be talking about this book i'm not done with it i just read the first session first part first chapter anyone call it because i don't know the book is really the way the session this is really different so so i'm just gonna call it a chapter a section <laughs> so in the first chapter um i just read it and then I'm, I'm going to like talk about um the main points and then like probably give you guys three things that i loved and i really want to apply to my life because i see that i'm really struggling in those areas okay so and uh so before i hop into this video if this is your first time stopping by hi i am cheese the rule welcome back to my channel please hit this, like this video and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, so let's just get into this video. so in this book um, it's still a lot by a British consulting team okay that I have really struggled um, to win in Olympics or their games in general until until a new coach came that changed everything okay so when the coach came into the group um he changed everything like he was really committed like he had a committed strategy which he called the aggression of margin gains okay which basically means his goal is to improve tight like his 
his goal is to improve everything each time with one percent okay so he could he said he's like instead of trying to like come into the team i'm like okay you guys are not really doing well i'm going to make sure that you guys do this and do that and which is things that people tend to do so he came in and be like okay i see that the team is not really doing well so the main goal is to like focus on those tiny little things okay and try to improve on improve on them because this is things that is going to help them to become better in the future okay so what he did was like little things like um, applying alcohol to the tire or trying to redesign the the bicycle that i'm using you see all those little things so that's what he started doing so after five years of being in the team the team was able was finally able to if like win in a championship like in the olympics and then like because listen this haven't happened in years okay so it haven't happened in years and this was able to happen because of those little changes that he made it seemed like it was really tiny but then it's it's something that called them to where they got to finally so what is this book telling us in general is that you should focus on the things that you want to improve on the habits that you want to form you should just focus on in improving it gradually okay for example like let's say i'm someone that always want to train i love to train i've been an athlete for years but then since i stopped being an athlete i've not really been active that like that okay but then each time i'm always so reluctant to want to do something to go and train to go to the park and run i signed up for the gym and i closed it <laughs> you see that's how deep it was because i always feel like i'm not going to be able to keep up going to the gym so what is this place telling me is that all this time i'm just on bed pressing my phone or just watching movies instead of just chilling there what i can do is just stand up and just can do what i want to do and that is me just applying that one percent okay at that time it's gonna be very hard for me to do but then eventually i'm going to be able to form a habit that's going to make me to train long time maybe when i get married and have kids okay now it's not going to be something hard for me to do because i formed the habit of doing it gradually and now it's going to become part of me and uh, again if you see me looking down it's because i have notes <laughs> i took notes okay so and that is the method that he used in improving the team and uh like even if, if you want to lose weight if i'm also heavy on that shit <laughs> if you want to lose weight like applying little things is going to help okay not just saying i want to do it and not doing it instead each like i know that um we human beings okay like we tend to feel like we feel like for us to achieve a massive um success we have to also a apply massive massive um actions to be able to do this it happens to me like i know this i haven't trained in i haven't trained in weeks but then all of a sudden i have the motivation to train for that day and then i'm going outside and then i'm doing everything as if i'm going to achieve that goal that day or tomorrow <laughs> you know that's not how it works like you cannot just come and decide to do everything you should just do the little that you can and then at the end of the day just gradually it's, it's just going to become a habit that you're not even meaning to form but then it becomes part of you of course like you want to form that habit here but then just little details those little things that you do is going to help you to become the best version of yourself so now i don't want to go too much into this because i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just gonna say two or three things that i really learned from this okay so the first thing i'm going to talk about is what um what progress really is like okay most of the time yeah people like when we are trying to make changes and we're not seeing like when we're trying to improve on something and then we're not seeing the changes we tend to lose interest we tend to like oh stop or not want to do it again because we're not seeing that change and this thing is called the pla plateau of potential okay so now how are we gonna like applying ha applying it in a real life setting okay for example i'm gonna give you an example is like you just me okay a, a perfect example that was used in the book is an ice cube okay and and yeah and the ice cube is inside this room and then the air condition is on 26 degrees pretty cold okay 27 degrees 28 degrees and then when it gets 32 degrees then the ice cube starting to melt okay you see it took time for the ice ice cube to melt but then like okay let me apply it in the in the real life settings so that you guys will understand what i'm trying to say so what i'm trying to say is that most of the time we just want to see our result immediately and when we are not seeing the result immediately then we lose hope then um, it took 32 degrees for the ice cube to start melting 
when it was 27 it didn't melt when it was 28 it didn't melt and this is how we are most of the time we should apply it to our life we should know that those little hard work that we're putting into things even though we're not seeing the result now like we should just keep pushing and um and just keep going example is also seeking not the seeking that that some wanting to love wanting to, okay like i just realized lately like um my fiance told me that he's been singing for a very long time but then it took like one tinty just came and then it went viral and then people were like oh he went viral for one tinty but the thing is that he's been putting in the hard work but then he didn't stop if he stopped then that video would, probably he wouldn't have made one tinty and that video wouldn't have gone viral okay it's because he kept working even when he put one tinty he kept working it's it's it took almost a year for the video for the song to go viral and for for the song to become you know viral on tiktok okay and this is how we should apply it to our life even though we are working out okay and we should just know that okay it might seem like we're not seeing the result now but it's but then when when it's time we're going to see the result and then people might think it's a nice like um for nice success when they don't even know that you've been working hard okay so we should like so this place is also telling me that even now i'm working out and i feel like i'm not seeing the progress right now i should just remember that it's not now i'm going to see the progress i'm going to see it later okay it's going to take a little time to, i just have to keep doing what i'm doing to keep doing the right things and then i'll be i'll finally see the stocks so the second one is that forget about the goal and focus on the progress okay most of the time when we set goals into things this is really really nice because i'm like ah oh, i'm really I struggle with this so like i'm just gonna use my weight like me trying to lose weight as a perfect example to this okay like um uh, so yes yeah, basically thing you should not focus on the goal you, sh you should focus on this um, on the system okay i know i've told myself okay i really want to work out and i will be, like i want to i want to form a habit of working out all the time but at the same time i want to look a certain way so like i want to be able to work out and have this body shape that i want to have i want to look a certain way okay and for me to do that i have to work out okay so now i'm not setting a goal that i want to lose weight or i want to achieve my goal before my wedding you know that type of energy so so what happens is that every time i look at the mirror and then i feel like okay i'm looking like what i want to look like it makes me like tomorrow i just end up eating more junk food i end up not going to work out end up not doing what i'm supposed to the the most important thing in this i'm trying to say right now is that you should not focus on the pro, on the goal okay the most of the time when we achieve the goal we tend to go back to the old habits now because i feel like i've achieved my goal and looking like how looking like what i want to know i don't want to continue doing what i'm doing like i just want to go back to to snacking all the time i want to go back to not training all the time but rather you should just focus on the process the process is you knowing okay i should go train because it's something good and not just basing it on the on the, all the on the goal you should base it on you just doing those things so you can achieve your goal because when you do those things then you're able to achieve the goal like you're able to form it as a habit that continues just continue to train all the time it all comes down to you creating a habit you forming a habit that is going to be good for you and there's going to that that is not only going to be good for you now but it's also going to be good for you tomorrow yes okay yeah, the main thing that i feel like you guys should also get and, I, and i've learned from this first chapter is that i should always work hard and i should focus on i should not focus on the present i should focus more on the long term okay I should, I should just keep doing what I'm doing and I should keep focusing on it. I should do it. It's, it's a process. It's not something that you do until tomorrow and then stop, okay? You should take your time. Do it gradually and then with time, everything, everything is going to, like, with time, you're going to become better. This habit is going to be formed, okay? I said I just want to become better. I want to become a better version of myself. So each time, instead of just chilling and then wasting away my I'll go out and can't train because I want to form that habit and and for me to form that habit i just have to just to do little things that i do those those little things that i feel like i need to improve on i'll just keep doing it instead of just watching things that does not really add to my life i can use it to watch something else that adds to my life in in that way i'm also gaining if you have a problem with changing your habits the problem is not you the problem is the system that you're using the process that you're using to solve it okay because everyone wants to do something better everyone everyone wants to become a champion but then it's 
it all depends on how you're going on in achieving it and what you're willing to do to achieve it and the methods that you're willing to apply to be able to achieve everything those methods are not something big maybe method sounds big it's more like just like i said before instead of just chilling and pressing my phone all day i can just go out and train because i want to achieve a healthy lifestyle instead of just doing it and just all oh, procrastinating it and oh, i'm going to do it later i'm going to do it it's also important for me to tell you that the same way you're improving your one percent to be better you can it's it it can also work the opposite way because most of the time when we say no you know for example you when you have an exam or a paper due soon and they're like no like you're just procrastinating everything at the end of the day you're not doing it the last minute and um, you're supposed to have a dinner with your family and then you start just going there you're just like oh no i'll just miss it with time by becoming better you you become worse and instead of able to achieve that and finally you end up not even submitting that paper you end up missing that dinner with your family because now you're because now you form that habit of delaying things you form that habit of saying no you're gonna do it instead of just doing it immediately you know and that's the main thing that i've learned to just go when i want to do something do it now even something i should just do it gradually i don't have to do put everything at that time but do it gradually and then I'll, I'll form a habit from it and this is basically what the chapter one is telling us and uh yes so i've come to the end of the video if i know i might be all over the place because i tend to be all over the places when i'm saying something or when i'm talking about something but then please be up with me with time i believe i'm going to be able to get better in explaining it better and doing much better and uh yeah so this is end of the chapter one next week i'm gonna see you guys where i'm gonna explain the chapter two of this book i'm really going to try everything in me to to bring you guys a weekly video i don't want to promise because like i said it just has not been working for me but then i'm going to apply this habit by actually reading the book okay instead of just chilling and doing nothing this habit is going to be applied because i'm going to read the book next week is about to be very stressful first week but then i'm going to achieve my goal i'm going to because i know the goal the one percent every little time that i'm going to have i'm going to apply i also want to create content for you guys because uh, because i also want you guys to to come along with me as i'm becoming a better person i so hope that you guys are going to join me to become a better person too yes i don't know if i am at this english but i hope you guys understand what <laughs> what i wanted to say and uh yeah so i've come to the end of this video if you liked it first of all thank you for what staying to watch to the end of this video i really appreciate it so much and uh thank you and if you really want if you like this video please share it to your friend that you feel like they should improve to they should learn something i know i struggle with explaining but I, like i said i'll do better but share it to your friend body and uh like this video and uh, i'll be sure to see you guys next week and uh, we will explain the the other habits that we can form <laughs> thank you guys and see you guys i know